Hey there. So today I went to a flea market and I wanted to take a look at what I picked up. Uh, they got a lot of different things. There's a lot of antiques and crafty kind of things that people make, but there's a lot of comic books and collectibles and things. So I thought I'd take a look at what I picked up today. So uh, first off, we have this uh, Bozo the Clown comic. Uh, again, not something that's really on my radar, but uh, I watched an episode of Collector's Call a while back where there was a guy collecting bozo stuff so i was kind of thinking about that and then came across this it's an old dell issue and uh you know it was i think five bucks like i didn't pay more than five bucks for any comics i picked up today uh then i found this issue of classic star wars the early adventures uh this was from dark horse and I, this is kind of like reprinting the marvel stuff that they had back in the day when they first had the star wars license not like what they do now uh, but this is reprints of that, and it's a Mike Alred cover, so it was just a couple bucks. Again, something that's not really on my radar or my list or whatever, but I'm not going to pass up a Mike Alred cover for that cheap. Uh, then I found this uh, Cult TV from Zone Productions. Uh, I've never seen this. I don't really know what it is. I think this is a character from The Outer Limits on the cover here. Uh, again, not 100% of that, about that... Uh, I was more of a Twilight Zone guy, but I'll check this out. Uh, then I found this issue here. This is an issue of Captain Amer or Captain Carrot rather, and his amazing zoo crew. And this is the Oz Wonderland War trilogy. Uh, this is a mini series they did back in the day. I have all the regular Captain Carrot series that they've done. I never picked this up though, so I came across it, and again, it was pretty cheap, so I picked it up. Uh, that was pretty much all the comics I picked up there. Uh, next, I found some different cards that guys are selling there. There are a lot of people selling cards this time. Uh, so this is a pack of Youngblood cards from Comic Images from back in the day. They did a lot of Marvel cards early on. Uh, I found a pack of Back to the Future 2 cards. And I could feel the stick of gum in there. That's probably pretty brittle. Uh, so yeah, it's nine cards, a sticker, and a stick of bubble gum. Uh, I found a pack of Ninja Turtles cards. This is from the first movie. Uh, so this is like 1990 wax pack. Uh, I found this pack of James Bond 007 cards. I'm not sure. What, this has got to be the 90s. Uh, let's see if it says. Yeah, 1993 Eon Production. So yeah, this is like. Yeah, so 90s Bond. I think that's. Probably before Brosnan even, so I'm not sure what's all in here. I'll have to check it out and see. Uh, I found a pack of Batman Forever cards from 95. Uh, oh yeah, then I found these packs of Desert Storm trading cards. Uh, because yeah, kids, they used to make trading cards for wars. Uh, pretty much every guy I know my age had some of these growing up. Uh, and so again, they were pretty cheap. I think all these packs were like one to three dollars each around in there so again i'm not going broke on this but just something i thought i'd check out uh then i also found these so it's like a set of santa claus trading cards uh i'm not i'm not sure if it's the whole set i haven't really gone through it yet i've never seen these before again something that probably wouldn't have been on my radar when i was younger but um for a while i was making Christmas trading cards as my holiday cards I would give away every year, so I wanted to check these out, maybe get some ideas for that. Uh, I also found this. I thought it was a magnet at first, but it is a pin, so this is a Fantastic Four pin, kind of promoting the DVD release, uh, since Chris Evans just came back to play Johnny Storm in Deadpool and Wolverine. Spoilers. Uh, I thought I'd pick that up. Kind of an interesting time to get that. Uh, next thing I found was this so this is like a little toys r us store um i wasn't sure what this was when i picked it up there's no markings on it or anything but uh i used to work at a toys r us and i've still got a bunch of friends that did too so i kind of reached out to them see if anybody knew what this was and apparently this is part of a tops uh, baseball card set so it's still sealed but there is something in here about, I, i'm assuming it's baseball cards so i might have to check that out uh, the plastic, I don't know if you can see it on camera here, but the plastic's pretty yellow in real life, so I might open this up, see what's inside, I'm not sure yet. 
kind of like having it sealed though too so we'll see then I found uh, these little guys here so these are Astro Snicks these are McDonald's Happy Meal toys from when I was a kid and these are kind of the only ones I have any interest in collecting anymore you know that I'd kind of go out of my way to find uh, so they're like little Smurf snork sort of knockoff inspired by things and they're they're all little alien guys uh, I thought these were kind of neat growing up. I really like the designs of these. Uh, there's like a little gold robot that they made. And I guess there was like a spaceship you could send away for and get in the mail that like nobody ever had. Uh, so that's pretty much all the collectibles I picked up. But there was a company there, j, j Products, that were giving away free samples of beef jerky. And I got some and I said, do you have anything hotter? And they said, yeah. So I picked up a pack of their habanero. Uh, beef jerky so gonna try that out again not really collectible related but hey if you got beef jerky I'll buy some I'll try it out uh, the last thing I picked up on the way out was a dog biscuit uh, since my dog was home by himself I picked this up for him uh, I already gave him some of it as you can see here but yeah a little smiley face dog biscuit for him uh, he had some of it already he seemed to like it so yeah that's everything I picked up today at the uh third Sunday market here in uh, Bloomington, Illinois. Uh, so yeah, if you've been to any flea markets lately, if you've picked up anything good, let me know. And thanks for watching. If you'd like to follow me on social media, I'm on Twitter slash X at Detective 651. Also on Instagram at Detective 651. Be sure to check out my t-shirt store at tpublic.com slash user slash Detective 651 got a lot of nerdy designs on there and there's sales all the time so check it out frequently